So if your Mustang has the Mach 460 or Mach sound system, then the first thing you're going to want to do is take off this speaker. Uh, and you want to just basically take off the cover here. So you want to get a flathead screwdriver, and come over here at the very, very front angle and pry on it a little bit till it starts to pop off. And you're just basically pulling it straight back towards you. So try to just get behind it. There you go. Okay. So inside here, there's a Phillips or cross point screw that we're going to go after. So just a regular screwdriver in here and take that out by turning it counterclockwise. With that screw removed, you'll be able to lift this assembly out. And now we're going to unplug this connection by lifting up at the top of that connector and then pulling it straight out. Okay, so I was able just to lift the top of that tab there and then pull it out. Now your Mach 460 or Mach tweeter is out of the way. And we'll go on to our door panel here. So what you want to do is reach in here. You can usually just this, do this by hand if you have to get a screwdriver back in there. And we're going to go ahead and just pull this out. Now it does have a clip that goes straight down in there. So as you rotate it out, then you'll want to pull upwards. So as you lift upwards with this, you'll see that the clip goes kind of straight down into there. So you'll want to rotate out and pull up. Now on the back side here, it's two more Phillips screws that we'll take out, one on each side, and that'll allow the wiring to stay in place um, and separate this door bezel. Okay, so with these Phillips screws now removed, just slide this whole harness out. Buttons and everything just kind of stay there. So once the switches are detached, there's the mirror control here. You just put a screwdriver under here to lift up and then remove that. Like so, and just pull it apart. See this plug comes off. And set your door pull aside. Next, we're gonna go after the screw right here, another cross point or Phillips. And there's actually two of them, one here and one here. So take those out. Now on the front of the door panel, you have one of these Christmas tree clips, kind of just a flat piece that you need to get some needle nose pliers behind. It's a good idea to get a rag here too, because you're gonna be prying on it. So you don't want it to scratch up your panel. So that's how you just pull that out. Now I'm replacing this door panel with another one here that I got that was in a lot better condition because my other one was kind of scratched up. But just so you can see what it looks like on the back side, there's all these kind of hook shaped plastic uh, kind of hook deals. And that's how the door hangs on the panel. So once we're at this point, we can just lift directly up on the door panel. So you want to pop it free on the back and the front and just lift the whole panel up and out of the way. So as you come around here, just start lifting. Okay. Now there is a, another panel here that you can take off if you pop it out, but uh, it's not very necessary if you're just sliding the door off. We'll go ahead and just lift this whole panel. And then you have to just slide it forward off of the door handle like that. Now the uh, panel is off the car. Okay, so with the door panel removed, uh, you may have to tear some of this plastic back, but this is where the window motor is. So it's just removing these eight millimeter bolts. There's three of them. Okay, and then uh, popping it off. Now, it does have teeth on here, which is what rolls the window up and down on its track. And so those teeth are locked in a little bit, and so you might have to wiggle a little bit to get it to come out. And there is a little bit of play, you know, enough to move it kind of back and forth to get it to come out here. Uh, and then once it's broken through, 
um, I found it easiest to come out through the speaker. So there is a hole over here that you may be able to work it back through here. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and just take out these four screws here on the speaker to remove the speaker out of the way and that makes perfect access to come in and grab it. It's also attached here and so all we're going to do is pull down on this clip right here and when we pull down on that uh, we'll be able to unplug it. Okay so that took some wiggling but I just pulled down on that tab and pulled that out. That's how it unplugs. Okay, with these four screws removed, cross point screwdriver. Now we can just remove the speaker and you can set it aside. If you want to unplug it, then just pull up on that tab and slide that off. Now we can reach in and we have perfect access to this. Okay, so I'm just removing these three bolts. They're eight millimeter each and it helps to get a magnet because even when you loosen them up, they kind of stay in there. But uh, if you have a magnet, that's nice. Go ahead and take those three out. Okay, so what you're trying to do is basically move the motor, since the teeth are locked in, move it towards you to kind of pry it that way to get the teeth off of the teeth on the window track. So moving it forward, and just kind of prying it around. Alright, so out it came. So, once again, it's in here kind of like this, and you want to pry it forward to get the teeth off of the track. So, pry forward slightly and just kind of walk it on out, and then out through the speaker hole it'll come. So, with the window motor removed, you'll be able to move the window up and down on the track. Now, one method is to drill out the rivets. So if you look down in the hole here, you'll be able to see, uh, by pushing the window down, you'll get it into view where you can see a rivet there. And then over on the other side, at the bottom of the glass, there's another rivet here. So uh, I did not end up drilling these out for the video. I'll show you another way as well. But uh, that is a method if you want to do that. Okay, so we're going to use an 11 millimeter to unbolt the track here. Okay, so we just slid that off. Okay, now we're gonna remove these two bolts here, 11 millimeter as well. Okay, now we'll remove these 13 millimeter nuts here. There's one down here and two up here. Okay, so now this track can drop out there. Okay, and then you just want to bring it this way through the door. So now we remove that track out of the way. Now going across the top of the door, there's four window stops. So I'll show you where these are. There's one here. There's going to also be one on the opposite side right here. And you also have one right at the very top of the window sill here that you'll have to remove. These are all 11 millimeter. And then the last one is over on the corner of the door towards the top right here. So I'll show you how to remove these. Okay, so you can see now as I lift forward on the stop, it will then go through that notch and it could be removed. So just up and out. Okay, so just remove the bolt up top and it'll push through here. Okay. Okay, and at the top of the window, on um, this part right here, there's another stop that we have to remove. Okay, and that stop just came out of that hole as well. 
Okay, sorry we're looking at the door upside down here, but then this trim right here you just want to pull up on. And it'll come out of the way there. Okay, now we're just pulling on the window from the front of the door first. As you can see, it's starting to move the other track that's still attached. Okay, so we still just have on the bottom track right here, there's still two little attachments and we're sliding them out of the track this way. Okay, so we just need this to come out of the track this way. You can see there's that little stop there that we're going to have to remove to get it to come out. Okay, so we just have to get this to come off of the track. So if you look down in there, it's like a plastic piece. And what you want to do is get a screwdriver and just pry it on each end so it'll come out of the end of the track. See that? So that one popped through. You just want it to be able to come out at the end because it's meant to keep the track, uh, to keep it from coming out of the track. There we go. Okay, so here's another view at the bottom of the window track. We're just needing to get it to slide out of here and it's pretty messy. These things are supposed to compress and we have this halfway coming out the door now. Um, but anyway, what we're trying to do is slide them out of the rail and then the window's free. Okay, so we slid the ends of those out of the frame here and now the window is free. Okay, so there's the window, free and clear. Now at this point, I don't know if it would have been better just to drill out the rivets and try to keep the rest of the frame rail as one piece. So you'll just have to decide what you think is better, but this is showing you one way how to uh, detach it. Even if you do drill out the rivets though, you still do have to disconnect the rail and everything like we showed so that you can actually get the window off the tracks. So thanks for watching. I have other videos just like this on the channel, so please like and subscribe to the channel.